Structs in C are similar to classes or objects in Python or JavaScript, but they are a bit simpler. There aren't any concepts of things like inheritance or class methods or static variables, nothing like that. Instead, structs are simply a way to group multiple fields or data points, so you could sort of think of them out, and put them all into one object, right? So they get to be moved around and stored together. This is really useful because instead of typing 35 separate variables to a function, you can put some of those variables, logically group them into a struct and pass them around together. This is the same reason why you often would make something like a data class in Python or just a simple object in JavaScript. They are similar to objects as well in that they have a list of fields, but as I mentioned, they don't have any methods. They're only data, they have no behavior. And you can access the fields of a struct with the dot operator, or if you have a pointer to the struct, then you can access them with the arrow operator, which is really a dash and, uh, you know, like greater than thing. And if you have ligatures, then it looks cool like a real arrow. That's kind of my preference. But one thing that is different than what you might expect from Python or JavaScript is that the order that you define the fields actually matters in terms of the size and the layout of memory. When we make a struct, what we're really doing is we're telling C, I have several different pieces of data. I'd like you to put them next to each other in memory, and I'd like to operate on that memory as sort of like a block. Right, And that block can be bigger or smaller depending on how we lay out the data. Now in other languages, you don't always have to think about this, but in C, you're tending to write things where you need to really crank out the last bit of performance. Really everything in C, when we're talking about data, is just a bunch of bytes in a row. And our program is the one instructing the computer how to and where to access those bytes. C is really, in a way, a language of describing data and then what we want to do with that data. It doesn't have other ideas like encapsulation and methods and all of this other stuff that sort of hides away everything that we're doing.